Well, good morning, friends. And if you see behind me in my dining room, we've got a blizzard outside, and we've got five kids, five of our grandkids, are with us, and Papa and I are here. So, <laughs> we've got a busy day for us. But with that, I'm going to make them a hash brown casserole. And this is kind of like the hash brown casserole that you would get at um, like Cracker Barrel. So we're going to put this together. And this is going to be their breakfast. They love this stuff. I'm going to get my big bowl out. Not my big daddy bowl. I don't need that much casserole. I want to show you this too, friends. These are my no freeze-dried. Uh-oh. These are my, you can see them, these are my dehydrated hash browns that I just added a little water to them and uh, already covered them with water and they are rehydrated. Beautiful. Look at that. Look how nice those turn out. Okay. This one? I'm going to get this all in here. I don't want to waste none of that. What's that one? All them. Oh, we got to melt some butter. So we'll do that right here. Turn this on. <laughs> we got a busy house. It's blowing like crazy, huh? I'll give you a picture of what our outside looks like. But my daughter works at the United States Post Office. Get up on the couch in the chair. And Sit down. no matter what kind of weather it is, unless the post office closes down themselves, she has to go to work. So she had to drive in this. Clear up to Honor, which is... Oh, I don't know, about 30 miles from here, 25 miles from here. We're not going to use that burner because there's something burning on it. I dropped something in there. Okay, while that's going, we're going to get this going. And we're going to put all these onions in here. Because the grandkids do like onions. There's not enough there for my husband, so. We're going to do one can of cream of chicken soup. Oh, that slid right out of there. Beautiful. Okay. Put that in there because that's got to go for recycling. And then we're going to do, calls for like a pint of sour cream. So I'm just going to do half of this. I'm going to get different. Okay. I'm just going to do about half, half of this. Okay, that's good. That's enough of that. Got to feed those babies good. They're going to be here. They might even be here overnight. She might be stuck <laughs> out at... It's the post office in honor. Wouldn't surprise me. We don't have a blizzard too often. We get snowstorms through the winter, but not usually blizzards, you know. So this is last time we I don't even remember the last blizzard we have. I remember the blizzard of 78. And I remember the blizzard we had in 1993. But now I remember a lot of snowstorms we get every year, but this is a full-blown blizzard. And we've got high winds. We've got snow blowing everywhere. We've got, we've got uh, them saying, warning us that if you're out on the road and you go in the ditch or you something happens, Emergency personnel may okay, not very well come and get you. So, they're telling people to stay off the roads. We're going to let that melt up a little bit. We just get the cartoons on. And, and if we lose power in this, 
We are okay. We've got a generator. We can keep these kids warm. We've got a little portable power station. We can um, run a computer or, you know, we, we can have a little electricity from that. We can cook even if I have to cook outside. Easy. But we can keep them warm and we can keep them fed. And we can keep them safe. So that's the best place for them to be is right here with us. All right, we're going to put that in there. That is our half cup of butter. Okay. And we got lots of water. All you'd have to do is go gather water outside because it's nice, fresh, fallen snow and melt it. And maybe later, maybe later, we'll do some um, snow cones for the kids. I like that. Okay, we're going to get this all mixed up in here. And I know it's loud, but I love it every minute of it. Okay. They're all excited because we got two huge woodpeckers out on our um, bird feeders. No, 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 no. I mean, they're big. This is gorgeous. I'm going to spray this pan. I'll pop out, put them up. And they don't like sharing their toys. <laughs> okay. Well, hi, Gussie boy. Come here and say hi. Gussie, look. Look up there. Say hi, friends. Hi, friends. Hi. Who are you, Gus Gus? Can you tell who you are, Gussie boy? Oh, can I have a smooch? Have a kissy? I love you. You love me? I love you. All right, go see Papa, and I'm cooking breakfast. You beautiful baby. All right. We got to put, I'm not going to put salt in there because my butter was salted, but I am going to put a little pepper in there because y'all know my family loves pepper, even the kids. So we're going to put a nice pinch of pepper in there. I suppose you could add some ham or bacon and really, you know, or even eggs, but we're just going to do this and then I'll probably scramble up some eggs for them. And I forgot to cheese. We're going to put some sharp cheddar cheese in here. And I got the oven set at 350. Where are you going? There we go. I'm just going to put a nice handful in there. And what I dumped on the table. All right, we'll get that mixed up in there. Okay. What you looking at? <laughs> Are you trying to see the camera? <clears throat> Are you trying to see up into the camera? No, no. All right, we're going to dump this right in here. This is beautiful. Look at Nana's making you yum yums. Nana's making breakfast. Mmm. Huh? You for you and Gussie and Alaric and Stella and Nene. It's going to be yummy. Yep, Papa's going to get too. Yep, I'll eat some too. What are you getting the pans out? Are you going to help Nana cook? Oh, you want to put it in that one? Oh, I think this one's okay. But I think we need to put a little bit of cheese on top of that. Okay? And then... You could put a little parsley, but... I'm not going to do that. We'll just put a little cheese in here. Doesn't look good. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna put this in the oven. 
your heart, bless your heart, you're sneezing. <laughs> yeah, oh good. That's going to be good. All right, we're going to put this in the oven for about 45 to 55 minutes. Yeah. That Don't get near me. It's hot. It's hot, hot. Come here. Come here. Come here. Yeah, All right, let's see. We'll go this way. Turn around, Cece, because you can sit on the table because I'll clean it after. Look right here. See right there? Say hi, friends. Hi, friends. We're going to eat hi. breakfast. Hi. Eat the breakfast. Hi. Yeah. Ask them if they're hi. all ready for Christmas. Hi. And Santa's coming. There's a Lyric. We got to get them all in there. Say hi, friends. Say hi, friends. Ask them if they're all ready for Christmas. <laughs> Is Santa Claus coming? Is Santa Claus getting ready to come? Yes. Yes. What does he bring? What does Santa bring? He's bringing breakfast. He's bringing breakfast. Presents. Oh, presents. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. We're going to let this. <laughs> I know you've got a boo-boo on your toe. All right. We're going to let this cook, and we'll be back when it's done. Say bye. 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 Okay, friends. My driveway was plowed yesterday. See that? You can barely see where my daughter come in just uh, not even two hours ago. The car's full of snow again. The chicken coop out there. The chickens and the bunnies are doing really good. They're all okay. The bunnies are in their little um, uh, closed-in box at the end. And that's the snow out there just a blowing all over. And I know it doesn't look like much right here. But when you get out on that road, you can't see anything. It's like white out. So... But it is beautiful, as long as you get to stay in. And that was shoveled, but not anymore. It's all filled in. Take a look at all this, friends. Um, Feeding America had a food truck, okay? And they gave out carrots, I mean beautiful carrots. And they gave out onions and apples, and, you know, so forth. But we got, these people gave us, Tracy actually gave me all these carrots that they gathered, and nobody wants them. <coughs> it's too many carrots for them, they say. So, though I'm not going to freeze dry them today because I can't um, take a chance on running that freeze dryer in case we lose power. I don't have anything that really could power that. So, but I am gonna get all these chopped up and get them prepped and ready for the freeze dryer so that, you know, when after the storm, you know, Sunday, Christmas day, or even Monday or Saturday night, whenever it gets done, I can whip these in the freeze dryer. And then when people need carrots, I can give them some freeze dried carrots. So I think that's a perfect way to preserve them because I've got canned carrots and a lot of people don't you know they don't like to take home canned goods because they don't know what your kitchen looks like first off they don't know how you can them if you did it you know safely but this way if it's freeze-dried they know it's okay so that's what we're gonna do
make some buttermilk biscuits. Some easy buttermilk drop biscuits to go with this. And they'll love it. So, this is real easy. I think I've showed you this before. I do this a lot. I love it. Okay, we're going to need one cup of milk. Where's my one cup mark? Calls for buttermilk. I don't ever have buttermilk, so I use the lemon juice method. So to this, it's called clabbered milk. So to this, I can't even see across the street. It's blowing snow so bad. Why is it blowing? I'm going to add two tablespoons of lemon juice to this one cup. Woo! Maybe a little more. <laughs> The one cup of milk. That will give you your buttermilk substitute. And now we got to melt a half stick of butter or a stick of butter. No, no, you do it. I'm making you biscuits. Nana. Yummy. No, no, she burp. Sissy what? Sissy burp. She burp. Burp? Oh, your puss, excuse me. Ah! Say, excuse me. Excuse me. We'll put it on the TV until we Hi, friends. Hi, friends. <laughs> hey, what's that? Are you hungry, baby? Yes. We're going to have biscuits have and biscuits. hash brown casserole have have with it. fresh butter. Oh, won't that be good? Yes. Some hug. Oh, I love my <coughs> CC. What about them? What about these trucks? Okay. So now we got that. We're going to put that melted butter in that milk. And, mix it up. and then it will, that way I don't have to mess around with, uh, oh, that's that. That's nice. Okay. Let me get the milk off the counter. Yeah. Or the lemon juice. Okay. Start the second. Then we're gonna put in here while we're waiting for that. We're gonna do two cups of flour. I don't know where the tablet is. You had it. Okay. That's good from your tea. And we're gonna do one tablespoon of baking powder in here. And I'm not gonna put any salt in them because my butter is salted. I don't want it real salty. So this is it's this simple. One one tablespoon. There we go. If you're using unsalted butter, you want to put about a half teaspoon of salt in there. I got a burner that is, I don't know if it's got a short in it or what. This okay, great now that we've got, I'm going to put that butter right in there. I'm going to mix that all up because we're going to stick this in the fridge. Let it chill a little bit. Mix that up. Mm -hmm. I need to put it in the fridge. <coughs> if you need to, you can put it in the fridge for a couple minutes, but this looks pretty good. I won't need to do that. Dump that right in there. Mix her up. Mix tells just combined. You don't want to mix this too much. Is that good, Cece baby? There you go. Dad, are you making? 
Biscuits. Biscuits? Yep, biscuits. All right. Don't do that, baby. I'm pushing them with your leg. There we go. Okay. What do you got? Boop boops? Now, oh, I, you know, I want to spray that a little bit. Um, I'm not going to use it. I'm going to use my good olive oil spray. I'm going to spray this real quick. All right. Fill these little biscuits. I love this. I got this cast iron one from my mom. This was one of her favorite things, and I keep right on making the nicest biscuits in here ever. Here. 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 Let CC watch. Here. Let CC watch. If you don't let CC watch, I'm going to put it up. All right. Our casserole is done. So take that out. Then I got to raise the temperature of the oven to 450 for the best. And I got nice soft butter for them. Oh, the kids I love them. Take a look. Beautiful. Okay, that's going to sit on that side right there. We're going to turn this up to 450. Out, out of the kitchen, baby. That's hot, hot, hot. Hot, hot, don't come in here. Papa. Papa. And that's hot. So, I just want them to touch this. Oh, that heat, that's gorgeous. Oh my goodness, it looks beautiful. All right, then we'll just have the biscuits to do. Then we can plate up. I'm going to get them some fruit for breakfast as well, so that they've got... Um, a little bit of hash brown casserole, a beautiful biscuit, and some fruit. Okay, friends, these are ready to go in the oven, and they're beautiful. About 17 to 22 minutes, and those will be done. And then I grabbed some of my home canned pears from my tree. Those will be good. You can have some of these pears and uh, hash brown casserole and the Beautiful homemade biscuit. Maybe. Oh, you want to watch that one? There we go. That hit quite a ceiling. So that's all ready. going to share with you. That might be a little big for one. I'll divide that. There we go. Now Stella and Nanny will eat a... Well, Stella and Nanny will eat a full size one that fell apart on me. Okay. It's got some nice crispiness to the outside. Beautiful. I need one more. I don't know what I was thinking, but those are the two big girls, so we'll do a, another small one. Oh, that isn't hot. Okay. Gorgeous. Now, I'm going to put a few pears on here. They love pears. Your family.
there. Now that'll cool off, and then when the biscuits are done, we'll be able to give them a nice biscuit with some uh, butter on it. Take a look, friends. They've got hash brown casserole, pears, home canned pears, and homemade biscuits. Okay, friends, I went through, and it's like in the afternoon because my grandkids just went home a little bit ago. Um, we got through the day. Their daddy got out of work. He said the roads were, you know, like really icy, but he went really slow. They got home okay, and uh, I got all these carrots cut up. I was going to cut the onions up, but I've got so many carrots I know I'm going to have leftover. I'm not going to be able to fit all of them on this tray. So I decided, even though we're in the midst of a blizzard, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start freeze drying these because if for some reason, God forbid, we lose our power, I can just take them out and set them out in the freezer or, you know, at the temperature we got outside, I could just leave them setting outside. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fill these up because I want to freeze dry these. And I know that these carrots were all given to me by folks that don't want them. And m most of the people that I had contacted said, no, they're good on carrots. They don't need carrots or they don't use carrots. Well, I'm not going to let these go to waste. So we're going to freeze dry them. And that way they'll last for a long time. You know, they'll be preserved for the next 20 years if need be. So that's what I did. And that way if somebody runs out of carrots, well then I got a few I can give them, you know. But I'm not going to let them go to waste. No waste in my house at all. But these are a lot of carrots and these are beautiful. And they'll freeze dry gorgeous. And no, I'm not gonna pre-freeze them. I'm just putting them in there. You can, you can do that with um, unfrozen food, but you don't mix the two. You don't want to mix frozen and non-frozen together. That's not good. Okay, so we got that. Now, what we're going to do here, oh, I guess break that up. Okay, now that we got those, I'm going to get a bag for my carrots. I got flour in my bag. I'm going to put our carrots in here because we'll freeze dry these next. And these are my silicone bags that I got from Amazon. I love them. And there is a link to them in my description box. These are the greatest things ever. They're reusable freezer bags. Silicone freezer bags, BPA-free. They're wonderful. I absolutely love them. All right, let's see if we can do this without making a big mess. Now I've got my bowl in your face. I'm sorry. At least it isn't the big daddy bowl. Okay. I'm going to put that over there. These we're going to put right in the refrigerator. I'm not going to freeze these. Just put them in the refrigerator. And we're going to go put the... Um, and then I got... We're going to go put those in the freeze dryer. But after these are freeze dried, I know I'll have plenty of room on the trays. I not only have the onions, those will last, you know, a, a week or so. They won't go bad. They'll be just fine because I have got tomatoes. I've got like 10 containers of tomatoes that, that uh, people declined or they gave them to me from uh, Feeding America. And I thought, you know what? I can grind those or not grind them. I can freeze dry them up and package them. And if somebody ever needs tomatoes or wants to make tomato powder, they can just grind those freeze-dried tomatoes up and you've got beautiful tomato powder. Come on with me and we'll go in and get this ready. Oh, I got to turn the light on in here. It's dark in here. Look at these. 
I ordered these from Amazon for my flour and my sugar. These are large containers. And I got a really good deal on them. I got a coupon. I think it was a $10 off coupon. So I got these, all four of them, large. They hold five quarts. Four and a half or five quarts. I got them for $19. Good price. All right, we're going to go over here. I've got to turn this on. I always keep it off. Turn that on in the back. And you'll see here, it'll take just a few minutes for this light to come on. Can you see that? Okay. I'll show you real close. You can see that. We're just going to hit the start button. It says, wait, fifth, where they're cooling the vacuum trailer, vacuum chamber, and then we'll have to wait for 15 minutes. So that's going to cool, and that will be good. Um, oh, my, my pantry is just like a nightmare. It's, it's, look at behind me. I've got so much stuff in this pantry. You know, we were talking about people getting ready for the blizzard. I didn't have to do anything. I didn't even have to go to the store. The blizzard come, the blizzard's here, I'm all ready. And I'll tell you what, we've got a generator, we've got a little power um, station, and if I have to, I've got all the means of cooking outside. We'll be just fine. Tons of food, my root cellar's loaded. I mean, we could have a storm for days and days and days, and we'd be just fine. So, I also got fresh apples. People got stuff from CMO, they're beautiful. People got stuff, a uh, Feeding America truck come through. And uh, people just pick out what they want and the rest of it they either throw away or, you know, give it to somebody. Well, my friend Tracy got a whole bunch of it and she brought it to me because she knows I'll freeze dry. I'll freeze dry the apples too. I'll freeze dry all of it so it doesn't go bad because I can't find anybody to take any of it right now. And most of it's very time sensitive. Those tomatoes will go bad in no time. So those are going to get freeze dry. All right. We'll go back in here. I've got, I still got grandkids here. Christmas trees going. Oh, the other thing I'm going to do um, is I'm going to make a recipe that I haven't made. It's going to be fun. It's called Melt in, Your Mouth uh, Melt in Your Mouth Chicken. It looked so good when I saw a picture of that recipe. I thought, you know what? I want to make that, and we're going to serve that over rice. So you'll see that tonight. I got chicken in my sink that's thawing out. You'll see that right down in here. I got it thawing out in some warm water. And uh, all kinds of stuff for the chickens and the bunny rabbits. I got to put the onions back out in the um, sun porch because that's like my walk-in cooler. I also bought a new um, humidifier. I'm going to show you this. There's my humidifier. It sits right by my registers right there. That's my old humidifier. I had a hard time with that one because it's a bottom fill. And I have such a hard time with my hands with the arthritis in my thumbs, I have a hard time opening stuff. And it seemed like when that would get down real low, it would create a suction and I couldn't get it open. So since then, the other day, I said, that's enough. I'm tired of fighting with it and I got a top fill humidifier. So we're good now. All right, so we'll get these put in the freeze dryer. We gotta wait a few minutes and then we should be able to start mixing up our stuff for our melt in your mouth chicken okay friends now it's telling us we can go ahead and load our food in there so we're gonna put these trays this is a wonderful way to preserve food and and have no waste beautiful all right, now it also says we need to clone it, close the drain valve. I'm going to do that right there. And I'll bring you up here so you can see this. 
See where it says load food in the freeze dryer or closed drain valve. Do not mix frozen with non-frozen food. Okay, so we're going to hit continue. And now it's freezing. And now it will take and go through the whole cycle all on its own. And by the way, um, I do have a link to this, uh, the same one that I bought, but I have a link to the Harvest Right company and my video description for anybody who's interested in buying one. And uh, also, if you can see down here, I'll show you. I got the oilless pump. And I absolutely love that. There is no maintenance. It's wonderful. I just put my fan on there. Well, my fan is down here in it. I got to bring my fan up because it fell off the thing to keep it cool. But I keep a fan blowing on that to keep it cool because it does kind of heat this room up. And sometimes if this room gets hot, well, not right now because it's so cold outside, but like in the summertime when it's up here, I just open the window and it keeps air flowing in here. And yes, the light comes in too, but that's all right. That little bit isn't going to hurt anything. Anyway, let's get busy and get our dinner started. Okay, this is real easy to make. Let me get my bowl up here. And I need a one cup. So we're going to need one cup of mayo. You're going to love this stuff. Looks like I'm cutting the top of my head off. My camera died, so I have to use my phone. But we'll get it. Because I want you to see this recipe. It's a nice one. And I'm so excited to see how it turns out. We're making this together, friends. Okay. So we're going to do one cup of mayo. It seems like a lot, but it's going to make a beautiful... There we go. It's going to make a really nice sauce. And then we're going to do half a cup of parmesan, which I'm just going to kind of eyeball. I'm not using parmesan. I am using mozzarella. There's several different ones you can substitute if you don't have fresh ground uh, parmesan. Mozzarella is one. And you could just Google it, too, what you can substitute for parmesan cheese or fresh grated. Now... I know, hold on a minute, friends, okay, um, I know that, that they have the Parmesan cheese, the craft in the container, but I don't think that's something you're going to want to use. So your best bet is to use mozzarella, it's easy to get your hands on. Well, let's see, let's take this out of here, okay. Then we're going to do a teaspoon of garlic powder, and I'm just going to eyeball that. I love garlic powder. And a half, a, one and a half teaspoons of seasoning salt. Eyeball that. What you looking for? Hello, friend. <laughs> Add a half teaspoon of pepper. A little more than that in there. All right. Oh, we got to set our oven to 375. Make sure there's nothing in there. And turn my light on. All right. We're going to mix this all up. Let me get this out of the way. We'll give this a beautiful mix. And the mayo. You know, breast meat tends to be, I like dark meat because breast meat tends to get dry on you, but with this, the mayo is going to keep that breast meat moist and delicious, I'm telling you. 
It'll keep it nice and moist. It won't dry out on you. Mayo or sour cream, either one. All right. Okay, so I'm going to cook mine. I got two beautiful breasts. I'm going to do mine in my cast iron pan. I think I'm out of I got a little olive oil. Probably just enough. Let me go get my other jar. I a whole lot. Just, there we go. Okay, now my, I put these in warm water <clears throat> for about the last half hour. And these are some really big, look at that, really big um, chicken breasts. I could cut them in half, but I don't want to do that. Look at how beautiful those are. Absolutely. You don't even need to season them because of the seasoning you've got in your sauce that's going on top. And I know some people would season them anyway, but I'm not going to. This is beautiful just this way. Now I'm just going to take this and I'm going to put this on top of these. I don't want to waste none of this beautiful, lovely. This is going to be gorgeous. All right. And so what we're going to do with these, these are going to bake for a good hour because they're thick. And you know, I want a little parsley on that. Parsley will just make it beautiful. All right, a little bit more. And I can't resist, friends. My family loves pepper. I love pepper. I gotta have a little more pepper just on top. That's it. Beautiful. Now that's gonna go in the oven for about an hour. Or at least until it reaches 165 degrees. You can take the temperature of it. When the meat's 165 degrees, it's done. If you cook it any longer, it can run a risk of drying out. So we're going to keep a close eye on this. And I do got a, a thermometer. So once it reaches 165, I'll tell you how long that takes. We can't put it in there yet. But I can put all this stuff away. Okay, friends, look at this. Isn't it gorgeous? This is going in there. It's ready. Don't need to cover it up. It can be cooked uncovered. All right. I got my dishes cleaned up while we waited for that. Filled my oil jug. Now, and I'm also going to put the recipe for this in the description part of my video so you have that. So simple, but yet it's just absolutely delicious. And you can serve it over, you could even probably serve it over mashed potatoes, um, noodles, rice, cauliflower rice, all that. We're going to have ours over some, I'm thinking, if not the jasmine rice, I'm going to do a, a wild rice. That would be lovely. Okay, friends, I love rice aroni. And they got a long grain and wild rice. It's wonderful. That's what we're going to put in here. And I got my little rice cooker here. Yes, you could put this in your um, Instapot. Oh my goodness. You could put that in your Instapot and just adjust the water. What would it be? One cup equal parts of rice and water in your Instapot. 22 minutes and voila, you got rice. Well, this one is just pretty pretty much as fast. I, I like this one, so we're just going to use a little rice cooker here because that's going to take an hour anyway, and this rice will stay warm in here. It'll stay warm in an instant pot too, but I kind of like this. I go back and forth a lot. I use my instant pot when I make a lot to uh, freeze dry. Let me break that up a little. Okay, so now I need three and a third cups of water. So 
So there's two cups and another cup and a third. Let's see where we are. You can't, I can't see that very well. Oh my goodness, I couldn't do that again if I tried. That was perfect. All right, so get this mixed up. We're also going to plug this in right here. Put it on cook. And I want to put some, about two good tablespoons of butter in here. Okay. And it's all seasoned. You don't need anything else to it. Just let it go. Stir it up. I want to make sure all those clumps are broke up. And that's it. That's simple. Okay, friends. This looks done, but I'm gonna have to wait and make sure. Look at that. Isn't that look beautiful? That's done. It's at 166. Put it in there. And the thickest part of it. That's at 168. So this is done. There you go, friends. That is absolutely beautiful. Golden brown. I tell you, it's moist in there. It looks delicious. And that's what we're having for dinner with rice. So there we go, friends. We had a lovely time in the kitchen. I got several things done. I showed you a couple things. I will put the recipe to this in my description box. I'm so glad you all come and hung out with me in the kitchen and did a little cooking and chatting and freeze drying. So until the next video, you all have a wonderful night and thanks for watching.